Mr. PIB in his happy place. Be careful, don't slide down through here. We've had a bunch of rain, guys, so I'm being selective where I put my feet. This is one of those places that you can drive right by it, you'll never know it's here. But my friend, uh, my good friend, one of my best friends, he passed away years ago. And, uh, you know, I've told you I've had, I had like nine, nine, ten, maybe twelve. I'm going to say nine. 1962 Impalas lined up down through here. And uh, he became a, a health, health wise, his health was deteriorating. And so he told me, he said, Jimmy, he said, it's time for you to get your Impalas, uh, you know, get rid of them, do something. So, uh, you know, somebody just has to tell me one time, but I found someone, another good friend of mine, him and his dad work on 62s. That's one of their favorites, just like they are mine. And so I sold all nine of them to them. So that's where they're at to this day. They were parts cars. I had, I don't know, uh, two or three super sports and a couple of Bel Airs and a I don't know if I had a Biscayne, but they're mainly just Impalas, parts cars. I'm 66 years old, and every time I, you know, over the years of my life, every time a 62 become available and I could afford it, I'd grab it. Uh, say hey. That goes to a square body. Yeah, it's a nice bumper. Today, we're at my friend's uh, little miniature junkyard here I guess and uh well I'm gonna start up here at the top. I want to mention first of all if you watch my friend GM Tim38 his name is Brian if you watch if you have subscribed to his channels you've already you already know where we're at because him and I and Mrs. PIB were here just a few weeks ago and uh we we made a video I filmed him which is kind of interesting. We had a lot of fun. We always do. And uh, he uh, walked around through here with me. And uh, I'll get to what he got here in a minute. Brian, GM1038, subscribe to his channel. He's wanting me to buy this. <laughs> it's a 19, I believe it's a 1964 Oldsmobile. This car ran a few years ago. It's got a 394, I believe, in it. And uh, my friend drove it up and down the road. Uh, it's an AC car. And it's kind of complete. And I haven't bought a car in a long time. This is uh, kind of a new experience for me. I don't know what all's in the back seat. Lawnmower engines or something. That might be that trim that's missing here. But anyway, I'll, I'll show you around the car. Of course, it needs tires. All the tires are, or most of them, I believe, are out of air. Hoping I can, hope I can open this hood. Let's see what it looks like. Can't get the hood open. Hang on. Okay kind of stiff needs some lube but as you can see it's got the oh 394 in it there's a little glass and a freeze bottle like uh or water i'm getting old guys i can't remember like on the 62 impala power brakes of course power steering it's an oldsmobile ac car i'm thinking about she's over there so i can talk let me see if I can shut this hood. Hang on. It's not my car, and I'm trying to be extra careful. But the car did run, like I said, a few years ago. And uh, it's got the big bolt pattern, 5-on-5. Five five, so I could put some old crap wheels that I have, maybe. And uh, between me and Brian, 
maybe we can get this thing to start and run maybe do a cold start or see if it will run whatever but i mean the insides are just so cool i mean it, it smells a little bit of course probably had some mices in here but dynamic 88 pretty cool old car but try to stand back where you can see it what do you think yes or no i mean it's not much it's all rusted out and of course you wheels and tires that turns into for instance lug nuts getting rusted you can't get them off you break the stud and you know blah 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 doesn't have a back bumper oh it's got a gas tank yep got a gas tank who knows what's in it I don't even know if they know where the keys are at. Hopefully. Anyway, something to think about. I think it's a 64 Oldsmobile. Dynamic 88. It'd be nice to do a first start or a cold start on it. I think. The other one that's been kind of being on my mind is this right here. Now, you know me. I, <laughs> I'm kind of a GM kind of person because parts are cheaper. I have no problems with Ford or Dodge. But for me, on my budget, GM products, you know, I can find a small block Chevy or, you know, parts or something like that much cheaper and easier than I can afford. But this is a Ford Fairmont. I wouldn't mind having this one. I've expressed an interest in this car several times. But uh, when's the last time you've seen one of these? I mean, it's, it's all there. I mean, it just needs some really deep cleaning, doesn't it? But, I mean... It runs, or it ran a few years ago, and my buddy owned it at the time, and I think he's, I think my, my, my buddy that passed away wound up with it. I don't even know where you get parts for these, but uh, it's a, I believe it's a force. I'm not going to raise the hood just because I don't want to make my videos long, but I think it's a six on it. Ah. Let me see if I can. I don't know. Does it have a hood pull in here? I I don't see one. But like I said, this ain't this ain't my car, and I don't want to mess with it much. But I mean, it's all there. This door's a different color. I don't know if I can open this or not. You know what, guys? I'm not going to mess with it. I can't find a hood release. And I'm pretty sure it's somewhere on the inside. But what do you think about this one? Or if you could just get one. Or just leave them both alone. I'm kind of thinking leave them both alone. But this one or this one. or I don't know. I don't even know what they would want for them. This is my other buddy's car. It's a Buick. Uh, 68 or 9 I think. It's been a long time. This has been off the road a long time. Well, I don't know where Mrs. P.I.B. went, but she's... She says I have fun at the junkyard, but she does too. Anyway, this is not for sale. This is what GM Tim Bryan bought. This 1960 Kingswood Wagon. If you've watched his channel, if you have not watched his channel, please go subscribe to it watch a couple of two or three of his videos he's got a 59 and i keep calling it impala he's got a 59 kingswood wagon it is the coolest wagon but he bought there she is i'm coming i'll be there in just a minute anyway uh he brian bought this wagon now you're probably saying to yourself well why 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 would you buy this wagon well, stuff's hard to come by. This is a one-year thing. But there's some things on this car that will interchange with his wagon. Now, my buddy, when he was alive, he was filling this thing up with junk to take it to the scrapyard. So I don't know what all is in here. Somebody's already took the dash gauges out. But see, the dash is still here. So, I mean, all you'd have to do is get the gauges and I think that might be Brian's plan is to get the whole dash out. Uh, 
a lot of people like these roofs to put on other wagons, you know, stuff like this. Uh, you see them on a lot of custom hot rods, you know. You know, the ridges and stuff, it makes them more sturdy. But let's just walk around it real quick. Of course, the Kingswood on, on this 60 is a little bit different than a 59. But that's okay. But I'll show you a few things about why he wanted it. There's the front. 283 car. You can tell by the emblems back then. It's got the wiper motor in it. It's got the wiper, you know, transmission and all in it. Uh, there were some more things he pointed out. I don't know if these uh, inner wheel wells are the same or not, but I'm, I'm going to assume that they probably are. But here's one of the things, if you watched his video that we made together a few weeks ago, it's got the automatic uh, column in it. He was wanting that. And uh seemed like there's more things. Of course, this glass and all is, is the same. But getting it picked up, we'll do a video on it. Because I told him I was going to come up and get this thing out of here. And uh, we'll do a video on it. And uh should be, <laughs> should be interesting. You know, a lot of people probably say, why, why, why? But... There's a lot of, I'm going to walk this way because there's a lot of briars and I got stepped pretty good last time. But there's a lot of, still got a lot of good parts on this. And if somebody's got a 60, you know, Kingswood wagon, they might want the fender, the emblems, you know, there's a, you got to look at the big picture. They don't, you know, this is a one year, one year car, you know, every year back in the day, the manufacturers would change the whole, you know, look of the car or truck. Here's a four-door 65 Impala. It belongs to another friend. This is the truck I was thinking about buying. <laughs> I was thinking about buying this truck, but... Then he came to his senses. What? Then he came to his senses. Then he came to his senses. Oh, okay. But the rear end's gone. I got to looking at it. It's just too much missing. If you watch my channel long enough, I like stuff that nobody else wants. Here's case in point. I'm just kind of drawn to stuff like this. Now, the last time I opened up this door, there was a possum sitting in there grinning at me. And I shut the door back. But see, there's a lot of parts missing. It's not saying you couldn't put it back together, but kind of thinking you might be better off just getting one already. Huh? Some kind of shifter for GM. Might be a Chevelle or I don't know. It's a GM. Mm, I hate these little stickers. Yeah, they'll already get got you. Poked in the finger. Yeah, it's a good little poker thing. <laughs> I like that hood. We'll just walk around it real quick and y'all can make fun of me for even thinking about it. It was a six cylinder truck, but it's just, I believe it's just too far gone for me. I'd have $10 million in it and it'd probably be worth 1500 <laughs> the time I got it up and going. Uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, let me look at this. Yeah, I seen it. This international. I'm trying not to miss none because when I was with Brian, we'd miss some. Oh, international truck. Trying to stay away. Oh, gosh. I got God anyway. I'm trying to stay. Oh. <laughs> trying to stay away from sticker bushes is what I'm trying to say. And this is about the only time you can come over here because of waspers and the snakes and all that. But wasp. Well, yeah, wasp. What did I say? Waspers. Oh, waspers. I always say, I live in the south, I call them waspers. Here's a good front end, though. 
Yeah, that is a good hood. It's got a couple little. Yeah, so. yeah but I mean, yeah, that's a good, good front end, isn't it? Pardon me. Looks like an old train horn. Let's walk over here. I'll show you this real quick. This place was all full of cars and trucks several years ago. And yeah, I'm gonna get back to it. I'm gonna show this little Ford truck and believe it or not, there's a Camaro right here. But you can see all this in Brian's video. If you'll subscribe to his channel, tell him you heard about him from Primer to Best, if you don't mind. Me and, uh, me and Brian and Tim Dixon and Waylon that works with Tim at Gas X Chop Shop, we're all, I guess you'd call it intertwined. I mean, a lot of times we hang out together and, uh, there's not much, I'm trying to stay out of these dang stickers. There's not much left of this Camaro, but Brian did point out it's got a, I'm not going to get in all these stickers. I don't have no coat on and I don't want to start bleeding. Uh, the dash is really good. There's still some good parts on it, but what killed it, in my opinion, is that sunroof. Somebody cut in there. That just killed it, unfortunately. Old Ford truck, I'm going to say, without looking very much, 74, 75 model Ford truck and it's been here as you can see a very long time Mrs. PIB has spied this uh, square body how you like her boots <laughs> she's smarter than I am I was looking at that fender see if it was Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah, it might be a good fender. I know. At the bottom of it, it's a round headlight truck, and it's probably probably seen better days. Whew. Custom Deluxe. It's got a good door mirror on it. Yeah, I'd like to have that. Uh, Actually, careful, don't get stuck. Pardon me? Yeah, yeah I might, might see by looking at that a little bit further. As you can see, it's been hitting the front. My buddy that passed away. Hey, there's another door mirror. I might try to snag them door mirrors. Boy, look at all this mess. It's pretty much clapped out there. Oh gosh, stupid stove. Oh, stick a bush. Whew. Let's look over here. I'm gonna show you, oh, my buddy used to, he'd buy junk cars and trucks that still had motors and transmissions in them. And his mission was to see if it would start after it got started and would run. Yeah, he'd have had a great channel, but that was his whole thing, getting them to start and run. This, yeah, i seen that, yeah. That was his whole thing, was getting them to start and run, then he'd park them out here in the field. Yeah, luggage rack. Yeah, and see, this has got the... Oh, golly, did you see that thing come toward me as soon as I... No toucha. Got those pieces of crumb. <laughs> Why do you laugh at misery? A little late now, isn't it? Anyway, it's a Rambler. I think it's a 63 Rambler. I was here when he got it started and he drove it around. And here it is today. Six cylinder car. The International Scout is sold. I've already inquired about that. This 55 Chevy four door is seen better days too. I'm gonna, as you can see, there's no floor. There's still some stainless on it. Whew. 
but uh, I guess the doors, if you had a four-door car, this would be a good one, but, but I'm telling you what, in the summertime, you can't see this stuff. It is just covered up in briars and weeds. Okay, well, uh, I'm trying to stay in line, kind of, so I won't miss one this time. I'm guessing this is probably a 65 or 6 Ford truck. You remember the twin I-beam suspension? That's what this is. I don't know nothing about it. But my buddy, when he was alive, he didn't care if it's Ford, Chevy, Dodge, or what. He'd, he'd just get them. There's another one just like this one, except that's a long bed. I'll show you this just because I'm here. I'm trying to kind of show everything that's been hit. I'll just walk around it real quick just because I'm here. And in another month or two, you won't be able to see this stuff. It's kind of snaky in here too, so I'm a little bit scared of snakes. I've had them chase me, I've had them strike at me, and uh, you know, you walk up on them, you can't see them. If, believe me, if I seen them, I'd be going the other way. But, uh, there's a panel for a C10, but as you can see, golly, it's, it's got rust in it, pretty bad. I don't know what this is. I don't think it's an S10, but now it could be. But I, it doesn't matter. I'm not interested. So, uh, I think we've seen this part. Okay, let's go here. My friend Waylon is supposed to come over here. I think he's wanting to buy something he mentioned, but we'll see. Anyway, that's why I'm here, because Waylon, I'm going to say, I'm just taking a guess, say 51, 52, 50, Dodge, here's a 56, uh, I think it's a 56 Plymouth, pretty sure, but my buddy bought this, my buddy that passed away, I know this is confusing, my buddy, fixed up a Dodge truck with a 440 short bed, you know, five window and all that. And he uh, he likes custom stuff, customizing stuff when he was alive. And he took the dash out of this. Ain't these door handles neat? He took the dash out of this and put it in his Dodge truck and it is cool. Oh my goodness, it's stupid briar stuff. And, oh. Not too much fun getting inside of your leg, is it? Hey, check out that old Oldsmobile hubcap. I want to say that's a 56. Oh, gosh. But Plymouth's were pretty good cars, too. But, you know, you get a 57 Ford, 57 Plymouth, 57 Dodge, 57 Chevrolet. Chevrolet's took off. 57 Fords outsold 57 Chevys back in the day, but when they were making them new, the Ford's out out a uh, sold Chevy, but look how much a Chevy's worth now. It's like rolling the dice. Which one do you think? 67 Ford. Like I said, you can see all this stuff on Brian's channel, GM1038. Old Studio Baker here. That my, my buddy's got a that my buddy that passed away. He had a Studebaker lowered in a, uh, I mean, it's pretty sharp car and had a hopped up uh, Chevy motor in it. And uh, he uh, took some parts off this car to build his. I think it's a 53 Studebaker. I always love Studebakers. Check out this. I believe this is a 56 Ford. 55 or 6. I think it's a 56. 
Uh, it might be a 55. There's a good hood. Good hood. Guys, I'd, I'd love to show you more, but this is about as close as I'm willing to get. These briars are... My buddy, when he was alive, he kept all this cleaned out. It never looked like this. But when you're, you know, with, with his widow and stuff, you know, it's kind of hard to keep things looking good. Oh, that's full of ice. 61 Impala. Dash and everything's gone. I mean, the, that part is still here, but I don't think the gauges are. Oh boy, let's open this up. It's got a lot of trim and there's a lot of spider webs too. But it's been so cold, I don't think there'd be any spiders living, but who am I to say? But it's best just to be a parts car. I love that emblem right there, that cross flags. Some shoes. <laughs> oh, shoes printing shears to cut down some of these briars. Dead cow. This scout is sold too. I asked about it. It's got a some bucket seats like out of a Chevelle or something. There's some '71 or two Ford LT. Oh yeah. I don't know what year this is, and it's not mine. It, this scout and the other scout, it belongs to someone else. Now that's been sold. Anyway, GM 1038 Brian is thinking about buying this car. And I've been trying to talk him into it. It's a 68 Chevy Impala. It was born a 327. But my buddy that passed away, I'm sure he bought it for the motor. He was trying to buy my 327s when I had them. And uh, of course I wouldn't, didn't want to sell them. I put them in 62s. But uh, this, this motor here, according to Brian, is like an international. So I mean, I don't know, but that's not a 327. But look how nice this car is. I mean, I mean, yeah, it's old, it's a 68, but I mean, it's all there. The, even the seats, I believe, I believe you can make the seats and door panels look really good with just a little bit of effort. Anyway, he was thinking about getting and putting a motor in it, just having a little bit of fun with it. There's one of the original hubcaps laying in the floorboard. And that looks, that dash looks like it's from a, I don't know, 68 or something, I guess. Kind of hard to tell. But anyway, getting back to this. Got a little rust here in the rocker. But it's been sitting here a long time, obviously. There's the hubcap that's laying on the floorboard. I, but I mean, the only rust I see on the whole cars right here that's that's eat through well maybe a little right there but i mean heck this car's worth fixing but i can't open that door so i'm gonna leave it be i mean the, it's got good bones and got the original rims on it not a bad car Hope y'all's. Here comes a dog. Here's a 65 Impala Super Sport that belongs to the guy 
that owns the four door 65 sitting over there. He owns both of these cars. This one is worth fixing. A 65 Impala Super Sport. There's the front bumper. You know, back in the, oh boy, briars. Back in the day, I can't open that door. But it's full of parts from probably this one and something else. I was trying to see if there's a console car. There's some fender skirts laying in there. Oh boy, let me see if I can get out of here with that. Name that. Oh. It's a GM. Could be 55 or six or, I don't know. Oh, you're trying to get me to knock my head into this <laughs> pine tree. We'll walk around the other side real quick. Don't mean to make my videos long, guys, but it just, it just happens sometimes. And I was trying to do kind of like an in-depth look around here. But like I said, you might find something different on Brian's channel. There's one of the tail lights for this. We tried to get the truck to unlatch, but uh, we didn't have nothing to poke in there. We didn't bring any tools. Got a bumper guard on it on the rear. I bet this is a real fine car back in the day. My buddy had a, the one that passed away. I'm, I know y'all started hearing me say this. He had a two-door Biscayne post. So he had some 65s here. There's front and rear bumper. And hey, there's a bed from a Ford. Hey, there's another one. 65. I'm trying to see what's in here. I'll tell you what, in a couple of months, you won't be able to get in here. But uh, Brian is coming first chance he gets, which he stays busy all the time. He works constantly. and uh, But he has a trailer. And we're going to see if we can get all that stuff out of the back. I don't know what the plan is, but I'm just assuming. Take all that stuff out of the back. Maybe take it to the scrapyard if it's nothing of no use. And then maybe come back and load this car up. He's got an electric winch and all that stuff, you know. I'm just hoping the car... <laughs> I'm hoping the car doesn't fall in too. But see, it's already setting up. So, I mean, he could kind of put it pretty much right on his trailer. I'm hoping. that's. But he, he knows what to do. So, I'm not really worried about it too much. But, uh... Yeah, that's a, that's a dual tank forward bed. But, uh... There's that Buick hood we seen at the first of the video. It belongs to my friend, a GS. That looks like a 65 Impala door right there. Like I said, my, this whole place was covered in cars and trucks. Like I said, I had at least nine down here. Just to be honest, I'm going to say at least nine. Could have been more than that. I was trying to... Oh... I had something in mind I was going to try to get or buy. When I say get, I mean buy. I'm not stealing nothing. I don't know if it's this truck or not. I, I don't think it was. Ooh, I'd hate to get in that mess. That is. Oh, jeez. These stupid briars. And I, I wore my camouflage hoping they'd think I was part of them, but. Ooh, boy, this, I was going to try to get a uh, brake and clutch pedals for a left turn bill if I can get them out easily. But I mean, I don't know. I thought there was one. Let me look over here. I don't know. Let's see what we got. No. I don't know why, but I get turned around sometimes. Maybe it was that truck I just looked at. Anyway, I know this video is quite long, so I'm going to, I guess I stopped the video and, uh, in, or ended here, I should say, and, uh, I appreciate y'all watching. I think I, I had my mind, I had my mind set on getting this thing, but I just, I just don't think it's, I think everybody's going to agree that Jimmy made a, or Mrs. P.I.B. made a good decision when she said no. 
But I mean, it's it's got it's best use for parts, isn't it? I think so too. Oh, I knew there was something else. See, if I don't go in a row, then I get I get mixed up. But there's another '61 Chevy here. My friend used to have a '61 Chevy, 348 big block, four speed in the floor. You know, as a bubble top. And uh, he bought every 61 around, but like I did 62s. And uh, at the time I lived in the city, uh, when I was married to my second wife, I was buying 62s left and right because I, I knew. Anyway, he'd take a lot of parts off of 61s and put them on his. And boy, that sure was a sharp car. It was, it was red bubble top 61 with uh corvette rallies on it and uh you know big block 348 four speed that thing would giddy up and go and it sounded awesome oh my goodness anyway i i, I just going to show you this 61 if there is another one here looks like somebody shot at it a few times ain't no trunk floor in it that i well maybe a little bit but not much Boy, if these old cars could talk, the stories they could tell. I wish you could have met my friend before he passed away. He told me years ago, he said, uh, Jimmy, when are you going to try to retire? And I said, I'm going to try to retire at 62. And I said, when I retire, I said, if you don't mind, I said, I'll be down here with you all the time. And he said, well, you better hurry. But, uh, he died before I, before I had a chance to uh, retire, you know. Just a few months later, I retired, and he died like two or three months earlier. But he's a good old boy, good mechanic. And uh, Brian, GM1038, he, uh, I told him lots of times if he ever had a chance to have met him, I said, you'd have really liked him. He's just no country boy. And <laughs> Just a lot of fun to hang out with. Let me know what you think about these two right here. This one or this one. They both have motors and transmissions in them. I'm trying to get so she can't hear me. That Oldsmobile or the Ford Fairmont. You don't see a Ford Fair, you don't see an Oldsmobile. So I don't know, or just leave them alone. I don't know. I'm all up in the air, but this one was ready to go home, my buddy. Uh, got it running good and God never did come get it. I mean, kept telling him to come get it. He said, well, I will. And he never did. So now my buddy that passed away, his his wife owns the car and uh, she bought it from, he, she bought it from the original owner. So it belongs to her. So I'm just kind of talking to her about it and the Oldsmobile. But what do you think if I had this old car? <laughs> What do you think if I had this old car cleaned up? Do a good wash job on it. Can't even see out the back window. I need to see what's in the trunk of this. Hmm, needs tail lights. Anyway, it'd just be good for a first start in years. See if it'd start. But, uh, like I said, I got some old truck rallies. Maybe I could put them on there just to get it up on the trailer and maybe take it to... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know this yet, but maybe take it over to Brian's. <laughs> oh boy. Sometimes I wonder how, how much more I can push Brian. I, I kind of throw a lot of things at him sometimes. He's a good friend. Him and Tim Dix and, and his dad Charlie are like my best friends and, and Waylon, of course. But this one, or see, I could put wheels on it, give it a good wash job. Get all these barnacles off and I don't know what that stuff there is, but pretty crusty, isn't it? Of course you got your usual bird poop, but still got the antenna. I wonder if the radio works. I'm just kidding, I, it doesn't matter. I was just wondering if it would start. If you seen this thing go up and down the road though, it was quiet, run and shifted great. I mean it looked it looks bad, but it's a good old car. Just several years ago. I'm 66. My buddy's been passed away, I'm going to say, four years. So maybe five years ago or six, this thing was running. 
I'm just guessing, of course. But now that's probably the last time I've seen that Ford Fairmont run, too. But could you picture it all washed up? <laughs> Put some penetrol on it <laughs> with some truck rallies. I got some old crap uh, truck rallies. Uh, you know, some tires that I hold air, they're probably, well, yeah, the ones off left turn bill, they'd be May Pops, but heck, they hold air, or they did last time I checked. But it might be kind of fun to see for the start. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I don't normally show this little place right here for privacy reasons, but like I said, it's Especially in the summer, spring, summer, fall, when leaves and everything's growing. I mean, you could drive right by this place and never see it. You wouldn't even know it was here. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. God bless each and every one of y'all. And uh, I'll catch y'all in the next video. You're watching Primer is Best. Please like and subscribe. It would... Oh, say bye. And uh, I might do a video when my friend Waylon gets here. Hopefully. And... Uh, if you uh, would like and subscribe to my channel and his, GM1038, uh, I'd appreciate it. And uh, I'm on Facebook, uh, Primer is Best, Instagram, Primer is Best. I have a second YouTube channel that I don't put enough videos on. I haven't in a while, but I need to. It's called uh, Man on a Budget. I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. I need to get going on that channel but in the winter time it's just hard to do anything here in east tennessee i hope it don't rain anyway uh also if you have an old car or an old truck that you'd like me to put on my youtube channel primer is best send me a video to primer is best at comcast.net or facebook messenger primer is best or instagram messenger primer is best turn your phone this way just like i have mine not up and down or you don't get a full screen turn it sideways send me a video of your car or truck it can be dodge ford plymouth international chevy i don't care i like looking what other people's working on and my wife does too we just sit there and watch the videos anyway uh send me a video turn your phone this way like i said Please, no music in the background, no foul language. YouTube dings me for that stuff. I've been dinged twice, and I, I, I'm, I don't want to get in trouble. Otherwise, that'll be the end of my videos. So uh, send me a video, and I, I, I'll put it together if you can. Just walk around it. Okay, for example, I got this, I'll say, 66 Ford truck. Inherited it from or just bought it or just saved it from scrapyard and I'm going to put a motor in just you know tell what you're doing please and uh it doesn't have to be pretty it can be just like this if somebody sent me a video of this i'd watch it plumb to the end send me a video and uh, i'll post it on my youtube channel and i'll let you know when i post it so you can watch it too and if you're working on something like this two years from now if you got it up and going and you can look back and say oh i remember when it looked like this that's the whole purpose. I mean, we're all in this together. We're, if you're watching this video, we're all car and truck guys, right? Guys and girls. A lot of girls, too, that's into this kind of stuff. So, yeah, send me a video, and uh, it's called PIB's Subscriber Rides. If you have an old car or truck part that you're wanting to buy or sell, I have PIB Swapping Shop. Send me a video of what you're trying to sell. Or, or what he's or what you're looking for and uh i'll post it up and maybe somebody in youtube land might have it same way primer is best comcast.net facebook messenger primer is best or instagram messenger primer is best y'all have a blessed day it's getting cold i gotta go grab a jacket god bless y'all see y'all later